The first book I wrote for Microsoft Press was Presentation Graphics on the Macintosh. Uh, and it was the first book only because I was given three books to write and then the Mac came out in the middle of it and they switched the Macintosh book to the beginning so they could have it available for the first Mac um, conference in San Francisco. That's what was released. 1984 was when it was uh, published in 84. The first book I actually wrote for Microsoft Press was uh, Front Page 97, Step by Step, in 1997. But I did have the opportunity to contribute to one of Steve's earlier books when I was about this big. I made a uh, computer-generated graphic of Robots in Love for that was one for, of For the Macintosh books. book. For the Macintosh book. So yeah, that was my first publication. Mm -hmm. That's great. I, I, I started working at Microsoft Press through kind of a strange combination of coincidences uh, that started with meeting an old man who had interesting tales to tell and after listening to them I thought they should be recorded and made into a book for his kids. I ended up recording a bunch of his stories, making them into a book which we published as a little, little publishing house. I had no interest in writing, I had no feeling that I had any ability to do that. But we created this book for him and it ended up laying around a coffee table in uh, an apartment we lived in that my, my, uh, my girlfriend at the time managed. And somebody came by looking for an apartment. That somebody happened to be named Stiskin, who had just been brought over from Japan to start Microsoft Press. He picked up the book. He was thumbing through it. He said, that's, that's an interesting book. That's nice. Who did this? And she said, oh, my boyfriend did it. He's got a computer over here that he did it on. He said, he has a computer? And he... He writes books, and this was 1982, maybe early 83, and so people who wrote books on a computer were, you know, they weren't all that common. I think if you could create a shopping list on a computer in those days, Microsoft Press would hire you. So anyway, he left his card, said, have this guy stop and chat with me. A week or two later, I thought, oh, you know, I don't want to do this, but I'll at least stop by and see what the inside of Press looks like, or inside of Microsoft looks like, because it's all in the Northup building then. There are 480 employees all together in the world, and this little building out there, I stopped and chatted with him, and he talked to me into taking on the job and writing a book. It was just kind of amazing, one of those real coincidental kind of things. Yeah, well, as a, as a young child, I was fascinated by watching Dad write these books and getting to play with the Macintosh and getting to play with the different computers he was writing on and about. And um, years later, we were working together in online training solutions, and I was the business development manager. And I signed several contracts for us to write books for Microsoft Press. And I assumed that Steve and our business partner, Joyce Cox, would write all of the books. Mm -hmm. And I signed one contract too many. <laughs> so there was no one available to write the front page book. And I was the only actual employee who used front page at the time. And it kind of fell into my lap to do that. So that was my first book. And I was terrified, but I really enjoyed the process. And uh, I think it just went from there. Then I picked up the Windows book, the Windows step-by-step -step book, and kept going. How many have there been now? There have been about 30-some, although I apparently also write in Greek and uh, several very interesting languages. <laughs> so Wonderful. There, there are a few more than that out there in the, in the lists. Yeah. Something you said uh, reminded me of the early days why Microsoft Press was created and what Name Stiskin, who was the original publisher, was asked to do. And if anybody's old enough to remember computer documentation back in the 80s, uh, it was mimeographed stuff usually stapled together. It might, the fancy stuff went in a three ring binder. Uh, it wasn't the same thing as going to a bookstore and getting real books. Uh, um, so what Name was asked to do was bring computer book publishing up to the standards of real books. And that meant good paper, good binding. People actually worried about what font was going into it, how the illustrations were done. And this was, Microsoft Press changed 
the entire landscape of computer book publishing. I mean, there were very few books published. And, and then there were a, a book or two on a topic. People thought, oh, how can there be one more book about you know, Excel or, or whatever? There's no room for another book. We already have two, I mean, in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have thousands. And there's still room for more people. Uh, and electronic versions of them, and all this stuff. What was really amazing is that when Name came to this area from Japan, he wandered around the United States for a few months. He met people. He picked up his staff. Sally and Joyce. Mm -hmm. um, Sally's husband was climbing Mount Everest, I think, at the time. She got an invitation to come up here. She put a sticker on the windshield of his van parked <laughs> up front saying, move to Seattle, join me if you want to. So when he got back in three months, that was his, his hint. She couldn't get in touch with him. And anyway, Name picked up all these people. They came from diverse backgrounds, but all very good at what each one of them did. Uh, good editors, all these things, but none of them worked on an IBM PC. None of them used any Microsoft software. They all had to come in and learn all this stuff. They came up to speed on it. They spent an enormous amount of time setting up the typesetting system, pre-digital. We were doing, in those days, right. laying out a book was cut and paste, razor blades, mm -hmm. wax. You know, that's how the books were laid out. It, it was phenomenal to watch that whole process, see how it was done.